The worst possible Prime Minister at the worst possible time. That was the accusation laid at Boris Johnson's door today by Sir Keir Starmer. The Labour leader says the Prime Minister is too weak to provide leadership at this crucial time. Last night, Boris Johnson faced the biggest rebellion of his leadership as nearly 100 Conservative MPs voted against his plans for Covid passes in England. We're live now to our Westminster correspondent, Catherine Sampson. And Catherine, all that comes on top of the ongoing row over Christmas parties last year. Yeah, that's right. In the last hour, Boris Johnson has been hosting a Downing Street press conference. He was asked about this there. He said the gatherings in number 10 last year have been completely mischaracterised as Christmas parties. The last two weeks, though, have been damaging for the Prime Minister. Last night, this rebellion by uh, his own backbenchers was much bigger than anyone was predicting. And that was a rebellion over bringing in English Covid restrictions, many of which have been in place in Scotland for some months. It got through thanks to Labour something they say has seriously undermined the Prime Minister's authority. Last night's Tory rebellion over English Covid restrictions has created quite the hangover. With concerns around Omicron rising, Boris Johnson's front bench were wearing masks this week. But Keir Starmer says his opponent still isn't sending the right signals. We're burdened with the worst possible Prime Minister at the worst possible time. They're shouting now. Where were they in the lobby last night? He has no hope of regaining the moral authority to deliver that difficult message if he cannot be straight with the British public about the rule-breaking in Downing Street last Christmas. As he knows, a report is being uh, delivered uh, to me by the Cabinet Secretary into exactly uh, what went on. He might explain why there are pictures of him uh, quaffing beer, uh, Mr Speaker. Nobody wants further restrictions, but Scotland can't afford to be hamstrung if the Prime Minister can't act because he's got 99 problems behind him. So will he give the devolved governments the powers and financial support that we need to protect our people? Uh, uh, Mr Speaker, I think we're going to need a bit of bigger waste to, to contain the synthetic indignation of the right honourable uh, gentleman, quite frankly. Uh, if I, if I, can just, I can just tell him uh, that th there are the powers, the, the Scottish administration has the powers, uh, but what we've also done, uh, what we've also done Mr Speaker, is a, a record uh, settlement, a record settlement, settlement uh, for Scotland, £41 uh, billion. Pounds. This photo emerged last night of a Christmas do at Conservative Party headquarters in London last year when mixing was banned. Celebrations may be more muted this year. Prime Minister potentially facing a bruising by-election defeat tomorrow. Well, that by-election tomorrow is in North Shropshire. That is the seat that has been left open uh, thanks to Owen Paterson's departure. Owen Paterson, the former MP who was caught up in that row over lobbying, the sleaze and standards scandal there. Um, I think you know we're very far away from the situation where we're talking about a serious leadership challenge to the Prime Minister, but potentially that could be a tipping point if that was to fall tomorrow because uh, part of the Prime Minister's appeal to his party is he's seen as a winner. It is two years, of course, since he swept them to victory in the general election. Of course, still hanging over the Prime Minister is this investigation into the alleged Downing Street parties. Um, don't think we're really going to hear it back, a report back from that anyway, until MPs leave here for the Christmas recess tomorrow. Catherine, at Westminster, thank you. Well, in the past couple of hours, Boris Johnson has been speaking as UK-wide cases hit a new daily high. This evening's Downing Street briefing followed another stormy Prime Minister's questions at lunchtime, where the opposition accused him of having lost the trust and authority to lead in the wake of the Christmas party scandal. Our Westminster correspondent, Rajit Sandhu, is at Winst Westminster for us tonight. Um, another tough day for the Prime Minister. Yes, it has been. And at that press conference, he had one message, and that was to try and get people to go and get their boosters. But of course, in the questions from journalists, it was dominated about questions about that rebellion we saw of, of, of nearly 100 Conservative MPs last night and what that means for the Prime Minister's authority. 
and also on this question of Christmas parties in and around Downing Street. Now, again, the Prime Minister rejected that there were any such Christmas parties in Downing Street last year, breaking any rules, and said, of course, there's an investigation into it. But earlier in the day, there was, as you said, a very stormy Prime Minister's questions where Labour leader Sakia Starmer said the Prime Minister was weak, he was lacking moral authority and was the worst Prime Minister in the worst time. The SNP Westminster leader Ian Blackford also criticised the Prime Minister and said that a Prime Minister who can't protect the public is no Prime Minister at all. Of course, Boris Johnson hit back at all of that and said that the government was taking the tough decisions, but it has been another gruelling day for a Prime Minister under pressure. OK, Rajdeep at Westminster, thank you.